Hi friends, I hope you're doing well as we begin yet another week. This last week, I was able to spend some time with leaders from around the country, Christian leaders who are highly respected and highly capable people. I noticed something about each one of them as they shared their story and a little bit about their experience that each one of them had experienced some kind of deep pain or suffering. Why is that? You know, I think back to when I first started into life and ministry, it went on pretty well and there wasn't a lot of suffering. But as time goes on, one thing after another would take place and you'd have to learn to deal with it. You go back to college and seminary and the preparation for ministry and you get all of the book knowledge, you study the Bible verses, you know this intellectually to be true, but until you really face the pain, the suffering, the difficulty, you really never are forced to work through it and really learn it. I find this as I read through the Bible, every single person that I can think of has gone through suffering. The ones that have really been used by God all through the missions movement of the 19th century and those that we would look up to and, and share with others, this is a real model, went through some kind of pain and suffering. I really believe that the maturity that we need to develop as leaders must come through suffering. It's our identity with Christ. It's learning of him, experiencing what it's like to follow him. None of us want it. None of us ask for it. And yet it is the very thing that helps us to get to the place where we need to be. And it also gives us a platform to be able to help others. I think of Romans 8. Of course, we know verse 28, all things work together for good to those that love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. But if you back up a little bit to verse 18 in Romans 8, Paul says this, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that will be revealed in us. I don't think that's just talking about eternal glory or when we get to heaven and it's all over, but I think from glory to glory, as he talks about in 2 Corinthians 3, the development of revealing God's glory in your life comes through suffering, because through that we learn to abide intensely into the life of Christ, claiming his word, learning of him. There's going to come a day when we're removed from all pain and suffering. But in this present time, my prayer is in my own life. As I, as I go through different challenges, and it seems like they mount up as time goes on, that I learn to love and to embrace what God has so sovereignly brought into my life. Because he is trusting the fact that, again, just like all those that have gone before me and that will follow me, that he will move me into a deeper, more abiding relationship with him and cause there to be much fruit. So my prayer is as you suffer, you step back and you look and see what God is doing. He is doing something great and he is doing something good. Have a great week.